Uh, Tony, it's great to see you. Uh, thanks for coming by the booth. A um, lot of discussion here, especially just a few moments ago with General Skinner, uh, about industry and DOD partnering. And the first thing he mentioned as far as what makes a good partner is trust. What are the important elements that you think makes a company good to work with, uh, with the Pentagon? And what do you hope to get from them when you go into partnership with them? Sure. Well, thanks for having me, first of all. And I, I think, you know, it kind of starts out with communication. You know, at reg scale, our leaders came from the government. They both were, for a long time in their career, in the Department of Energy. And they, they were able to take what they learned and some of the pain that they felt when they were going through the adoption of new technology. And when they left government, they solved, they were trying to solve that problem back for the government. So we've, we've evolved as a kind of a federal native organization to solve some of these problems around adopting new technology and getting through some of the compliance mm -hmm. process faster. What makes that work on your end? What do you hope to gain from government to be able to help you do your jobs better? Right, well, what's most important for me as relatively new to this space is mm -hmm. as much dialogue as we can get you know, I, I've been to several industry events where you can actually hear from government leadership what their priorities are. And I know there's lots of avenues for that, but trying to navigate through the different, different sources is difficult. So when you have an opportunity to hear from a, a CIO or a CISO on, these are the top three challenges. Like yeah. I, recently I got to hear the, the DOD CIO talk about priorities. And number one was whoever can innovate faster is going to win. Mm -hmm. you know, so if you could help us with that, please raise your hand. Yeah, when you hear charges like that from uh, CIO Sherman, how do you respond to that? What do you do tactically or strategically to try to respond to that so you can meet that challenge? I think that you know, having that kind of insight from the, the top, top levels is critical when we're talking with the folks going from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. So I, I have this notion of trying to identify the actionable leaders, you know, the, the majors, the lieutenant colonels who are close enough to the, 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 industry, the, the trade space and the mission challenges, but also um, have some authority to make some decisions. So when we go out and have those kind of discussions with them, knowing where senior leadership's mind is helps make a connection. Tony Higgins, great to talk to you. Thanks very much. Thanks very much.